Ajax is here. Thanks again for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, my name is Riley and I'm a former Jehovah's Witness. So before I start today, um, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who watched my recent live stream uh, where I gave the update of my friend uh, John Ash who has recently woken up and got in touch with me. That video has been really well received. I've, I've gotten so much positive feedback and uh, positive comments. that I'm really uh, overwhelmed and grateful. And I'm really touched as well that uh, so many people have showed so much uh, kindness and concern uh, for my friend. Another positive thing that's come out of that, I've received a lot of emails. I'm starting to get a lot more emails than I did previously. So I thought it would be a good idea to share some of them with you uh, with the uh, sender's consent. So I've got an email here, which I'm going to read for you. It's from uh, Pimo Elder in the United States. And uh, this is what it says. Hello there. Where do I even begin? Firstly, I have been watching you from day one of your Jexit videos since 2020. I must commend you for helping me find my sense of balance with an internal conflict I have been going through up until now. I feel inclined to reach out to you as I watched your last video about your friend. You then asked, is there anyone else out there? That is me. I felt I was not alone at that moment. I am in tears. I currently have a similar situation. I'm a PMO elder, former regular pioneer, and I work where the need is greater. I'm also married. I am so stressed at times. I really don't know what to do. I'm still going through it all by myself internally. Thankfully, XJWs like yourself have all helped. Interestingly enough, I often listen and watch your video while on my weekly Zoom meetings. <laughs> Of course, with my earphones. <laughs> Please tell your friend, John Ash, that he's not alone. And that email is from a PMO elder in the United States. So, so the part where he said that um, he watches my videos when he's supposed to really be on the Zoom meetings, <laughs> that bit really made me laugh. But it, it made me think about how the pandemic has actually affected uh, Watchtower and meeting attendance. Um, I can imagine that if you're a PMO, the pandemic and, you know, not physically having to go to the Kingdom Halls anymore has, has made it much easier for PMOs to hide their PMO-ness. <laughs> I know that's not really a word, but I'm, I'm running with it for now. So, it, yeah, it makes me wonder what would happen if and when the Kingdom Halls open back up again. What would the attendance be like? I mean, I was speaking with John Ash about this the other day and... Uh, we're both of the opinion that if and when the Kingdom Halls do reopen, it will be with greatly reduced numbers. I mean, if you're not a, a witness, it will be hard for you to comprehend, but witnesses are so busy. You know, as a witness, you're so deprived of free time. So if you're having doubts about the organisation and you're physically in but mentally out, giving that free time back again, of not ha physically having to go to the meetings. I can see how it would be a struggle to give that up if the Kingdom Halls reopen. But I guess we could be wrong. It could be the case that witnesses have missed the meetings so much and missed you know, the association with other witnesses that when the Kingdom Halls reopen, you know, they just all come flooding back. You know, personally, I don't think it will be like that. I think the numbers will be reduced. I'm pretty certain that numbers on the Zoom calls are reduced. You know, I'm sure, pretty sure that's down from regular meeting attendance. But as I said, we could be wrong. What do you think? Do you think that if and when the Kingdom Halls reopen, it will be with the same attendance as before? Or do you think the numbers will be greatly reduced? Let me know in the comments. That's it for now. I will be doing more of these emails. And if you want to email me yourself, please feel free to do so. The address is jexit underscore 2020 at outlook.com thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching to the very end of the video if you haven't already done so please like leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you like my work and want to help me continue doing it please support me on patreon at patreon.com 
forward slash Jexit underscore 2020. And with that, I'd like to sincerely thank these very special patrons who make these videos possible.